A project's life cycle from beginning to end consists of all the work required to bring a product to the market or to make a service or process operational. It has four stages and different processes occur during each stage of the project life cycle. As part of initiating the project, you determine the need for the project and its feasibility and set the project's goals. You'll also determine a high-level budget and schedule, identify risks, and list the known stakeholders. As part of planning a project, you typically need to plan each of the project's subsidiary areas, identifying targets within the project, and distribute tasks and resources to the team. This stage also involves gathering expert judgment and reviewing lessons learned from past projects. Performing and checking the work for a project involves getting materials and building and producing a product or service. It also entails testing quality and performance and making modifications if required. Finally, the product or service must be prepared for delivery. Closing a project involves transferring the product or service to those who will maintain or use it. It also entails documenting lessons learned and releasing the project team. Each stage in the project lifecycle has different characteristics in terms of three factors, cost and staffing levels, level of uncertainty, and cost of changes. When initiating the project, cost and staffing levels are low. Uncertainty is at its highest. As part of planning and also when performing and checking the work, more resources are needed and there is a little less uncertainty. Closing a project results in lower costs and staffing levels and uncertainty continue to decline. All projects are likely to undergo changes. This may be to adapt to changing circumstances or to correct errors. The cost of making changes is the lowest at the start of a project. As more planning and work is done, the cost of making changes continues to rise. Just about any project can be divided into phases. Phases of a project are logical divisions in the way the work is carried out. The aim of dividing work in this way is to make managing the work easier. A simple project can include just one phase, while a complex project requires a lot of time and planning. For instance, if you are creating a mobile game, you may want to break up the project into several phases including design, development, testing, and release. This makes it easier to break up all the work required for a complex project. Phases in a project have several characteristics. They are sequential. They each involve distinct work. They repeat the project management processes from initiating through closing. They each end with a handoff of work called a deliverable. Finally, they have natural endpoints at which the continued viability of a project is assessed. The endpoints are sometimes called gates. The end of a phase and start of the next phase are good times to revisit your earlier decisions and assumptions. The project management methodology you choose for your project will often determine the structure of its phases. You may choose a methodology that has a predictive life cycle, also called a waterfall methodology. In this type of life cycle, the phase-to-phase -phase relationship is sequential. One phase is fully completed before the next phase starts. Predictive life cycles are plan-driven, and change is not encouraged except as a way to prevent defects or to correct non-conforming project work. The time, cost, and scope requirements are determined as early in the project life cycle as possible. Then, the project would proceed according to the plan. Some projects use the Agile methodologies. Agile projects are characterized by iterative and incremental life cycles. The phases overlap, with one phase starting before the previous phase finishes. This can speed up the project, but may also result in rework if issues are encountered. The scope is tentatively determined early in the project and then clarified as the project proceeds. This is called rolling wave planning. Through repeated or iterative cycles, more is learned about customer needs and requirements continue to be identified and refined. Each phase or increment successively adds to the functionality of the product. The end of each phase is marked by a completed deliverable. Adaptive life cycles include very short iterations, no longer than four weeks in duration. 
The adaptive approach requires a high degree of customer involvement and is used for projects in which scope frequently changes. In summary, a project's life cycle consists of all the work required to bring a product to the market or to make a service or process operational. It has four stages and different processes occur during each stage of the project life cycle. Complex projects may also be broken into phases. The flow of these phases may either be predictive or it may be iterative and incremental or adaptive.